In today's video, we're repurposing two items most often used in the office and living room and putting them to use in the workshop and studio. And they rock. My name is David Gewertz and you're watching ZDNet's YouTube Studio series, which is part of my DIY IT column. In addition to testing 3D printers, we also explore maker and smart home technology, stress test servers, fly drones, and regularly dive deep into advanced geekery for fun and profit. Before we get started on today's review, I'd like to remind you that this video is part of my comprehensive YouTube production and desktop fabrication programs. If you'd like to know when the next video is up, feel free to click the subscribe button in the corner. I think it's over there. A few months ago, I was sent a lifting desk and a video projector for review. Since I already have a very customized office and we're happy with our family room TV, my interest was sparked. Could I use these items in new and unusual ways? Could they help me overcome any challenges? They sure could. And in this video, I'll show you how. Let's start with the uplift desk, which is standing right here between me and the camera. This is a power desk that goes up and down at the push of a button. Check it out, check it out. Up, so cool. According to the company, the desk has a lifting capacity of 355 pounds. I haven't tried it with anything that heavy, but I can tell you that this is definitely a very solid, very robust desk. The desk arrived in a bunch of boxes. Our biggest challenge was moving the 72 inch desktop from the front entryway to the workshop, which involves some very sharp turns through small hallways. Building the desk was straightforward. You build it upside down, adding legs and components piece by piece. Once built, you will need an extra set of hands to lift it and flip it. My unit came with wheels, which make all of what I'm gonna show you possible. You can also get it with adjustable feet, but the wheels are a total win. We'll come back to the desk in a minute, but for now, let's talk about the Xgemi Aura projector. Take a look at these graphics behind me. They're being displayed on my back wall by the Xgemi Aura projector. I'm just going to hit the next button here. It takes a second for each to load, but all I'm going to do is toggle through them. And if you're using it as a background, it doesn't matter if it takes a second to load. Slick, huh? You can even show video as a background if you wish. Let's see if we can get that queued up here. Back to video. Let's show this. As you can see, in my case, I've just sold a USB stick with images and I'm displaying them using the built in file manager. Boot. Give you the background back. I've been really curious about this because some of my viewers have complained that my simple blue background was too empty. I didn't want to just hang stuff on the wall because I'm not ready to commit to any one use for this wall. This is actually one of my workshop walls, and workshop walls are very valuable in a small space. So I wanted to see whether I could do anything else using that without like going ahead and putting more pegboard up or French cleats or any of those sorts of things. I just wanted to see if I could keep the wall by itself. So I tried using an old 60 inch TV on the uplift desk, but no matter what height I set it and where I placed the camera, the glare from the ceiling lights were inescapable. Worse, keeping a 60 inch TV on this desk nerfed all of the great uses and tied up a lot of space, space I really don't have in the small garage. A green screen might have worked unless I had a product to review with green in it like the Lulzbot printers and every Ryobi tool I own. The Aura is a short throw laser projector. It's the short throw capability that makes this very interesting for studio display and really hard to say. That's because the projector can be behind me and so the image projected becomes a backdrop. The Aura is far smaller than a 60 inch TV so it can be carried to wherever I'm using it, set up and then put away when I'm done and yet it's capable of projecting a 152 inch picture. 
Even though my light blue wall is not designed for projection, the aura does quite well in a darkened room. I had to augment the aura with a couple of lights so you could see me in the shot, but it works. I'm using a pair of old LED lights with a diffuser, gaffer tape is definitely my friend here, to make it all work. Bright images work better to counter the shadows thrown by the lighting setup. Unfortunately, with all the workshop's ceiling lights on, the images aren't as well defined. That's not the fault of the projector. As you can see, I have substantial lighting in here, installed specifically because I use this room for filming. In a normal room, with normal lighting, the projector should do quite well. And now, since the studio lights are on, let's dive deeper into the many uses and conveniences of the uplift desk. This thing is transformative in this small space. First, of course, it makes for a great presentation desk. I've been getting by using my old Harbor Freight workbench, but the workbench aesthetic complete with dog holes for clamping is not ideal for all presentation situations. It also has height adjustments, so I can tweak it for exactly what I'm filming. In fact, the Uplift Desk makes an incredible film and product photography station. At 72 inches wide, it's big enough to both hold the product shooting area and all the gear necessary to make the shoot work. I love how the desk goes up and down, so if I'm shooting from the side, I don't have to crouch, and if I'm taking a top-down shot, I can lower the desk to an ideal height. An unexpected benefit of the uplift desk didn't become apparent to me until after I'd assembled it. I can lift the desk up and store both my table saw and my miter saw underneath and still have table space. This rocks. I can also hide one of my two Harbor Freight workbenches underneath, giving me two layers of work surface for more complex projects or two layers of clutter if I need to shove stuff out of the way while I'm doing something else. And it frees up extra space to use some of my other tools. The uplift desk can also be rolled into place as a table saw outfeed table, able to catch wood as it comes out of the saw. In this example, I'm just pushing a piece of foam because I'm still not entirely comfortable filming while the saw is running. I'll also need to find a way to protect the desk's surface from the sliding wood, but I can probably just gaffer, case a, gaffer tape a piece of tarp material or even brown paper to the surface to keep it from scratching. The folks at Uplift sent me some great accessories, like drawers that can be mounted underneath. But since I discovered how great this desk is to space multiply, I decided not to install them. I'm just glorying in the ability to tuck stuff underneath the desk and how easy it is to repurpose for so many different tasks. I like to experiment with alternate uses for various devices, resources, and objects I find. Sometimes the alternate use becomes a brilliant standout force multiplier, as is the case with the uplift desk. Sometimes it's a nice idea that might not be practical for everyone, as is probably the case using the $2,500 XGME Aura to generate a backdrop. The Aura got great reviews here on ZDNet when we reviewed it for its designated purpose as a TV. So there you go, two items normally used for other purposes that completely enhance the working environment for filming and workshop projects. What items have you repurposed for completely unexpected uses? Let us know in the comments below. And for ZDNet's DIY IT, I'm David Gewertz. Go out there and repurpose something awesome. Hey, if you're still here, I have a great tip for you. Go ahead and point your browser to ZDNet.com. It's not just the logo behind me. It's one of the top tech sites on the Internet. There you can read all my articles, as well as those by Jason Perlow, Stephen Vaughn Nichols, Ed Bott, Mary Jo Foley, Charlie Osborne, Adrian Kingley Hughes, and about 40 more top tech experts. Without a doubt, you will read something awesome.